Hello and welcome my beautiful Aquarius. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 26th to June the 2nd. Um, at this time I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for liking, viewing and subscribing to these videos. But I also want to put a heads up to all those lovely people that are clicking at that button, buy me a coffee below, because those people that are donating in even the smallest ways are helping me to be able at the end of the month to buy new cards, to buy new equipment, to try to do the best I can possibly do to pr produce and promote these videos to the best for you. So I really, really want to thank you for this. A lot of people don't know that I have that button below, but there are those that do and you have contributed. If you've liked my video, you send me off this little donation and it truly helps and I can't thank you enough. So on that note, my beautiful Aquarius, let's see what we have here for your week. Keeping in mind, this is a general reading, not every single card or the energy they <clears throat> they have may resonate with you. Take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. You've got the cards rewards. I love it. Great way to start off your reading. So you're going to see, um, you know, something come in for the hard work and effort that you've been applying to something. What, what have you been investing your time into? Now you're going to see the rewards and the return for your hard work and effort. So this is a great way to start your week knowing that no matter what challenge here you're going to be going through the end of the day you will receive something for your hard work <clears throat> coming in you've got the wisdom card and it says you are called to serve as a mentor uh, for someone or as a role model and guide who you know and guide who can show the way use your wisdom and experience so you have this ability to teach preach and convey information to others maybe you're going to be teaching somebody something that they need to learn and you could be sharing your wisdom and experiences from the past in order to mentor them through a challenging situation. You can show them the way and guide them, giving them um, you know, coping skills to get through something. You've got the wisdom and the experience, uh, beautiful Aquarius, to do this. In with this card, it's amazing. You get the King of Swords. Now, we know what the King of Swords is about. He makes his decisions based on an intelligence and logic and reason. We know that he's a master of strategy and knows how to get through and get things done. So if you're facing a difficult situation, the King of Swords can help you, you know, see it clearly and find the best way forward. If this is you, use analytical thinking and a structural approach to solve your way to success. But you can be the person helping someone else here. Okay, we know that this king is strong, but some of you, I often look at this king card, is that you could be retaining legal counsel for something. Uh, maybe you need to have a document <clears throat> notarized and witnessed uh, on a signature as well. Coming in next, you have spiritual work. Um, you know, doing some inner work on yourself can help you get clear before you move on. You will get insights into what work will what will work best for you and serve your needs. So some of you, you know, I often say when we go within, we never go without. And that's taking time to put yourself in that position and have a Dear John discussion with yourself. What is it you want to do? Um, <clears throat> how can you move forward? How can you learn from an experience? What has it taught you? And tapping into your faith, believing that the powers that be are and, and the divine spirit is going to be there to guide you. All you have to do is ask your help you know i listened to an article the other day not only about our angels but about our angel helpers there's so many types of angels out there don't be afraid to tap into them as a collective if you don't know your guide and angel that, you, that is your specific one go out there and ask the powers that be to guide you through a process here you're going through through some situation that could be quite spiritual and emotional Others, you might be taking courses in spiritual work. You might be wanting to tap into energy and spiritual work and help others. You've got the sun card, and this is a brand new beginning. It's new. It's new birth. It's rebirth. It's going after your goals. It's the best card in the deck. You know I always say that about the sun. I love the sun. You know, it's the inner radiance that shines forth as a result of true illumination, they say. So it's about, you know, 
being able to see a new beginning and and feel totally alive now and go after your goals you may be coming uh, to a good place yourself within yourself Aquarius where you're starting now to open up to the realization of what you can do how you can vibe put that energy and vibration into moving forward towards a beautiful new goal it's going to work out because the sun is the best card of happiness success all over well-being good health and new beautiful beginning you've got the card frozen in the center position for some of you it says there may be a hiring freeze or no work now or or no <clears throat> or no new work now being aloof can leave you out in the cold a warm follow-up gets you in the door Okay, so um, this is about some of you. You could be feeling as though you've been stuck in this situation for a while. You had to call the truth and back off, or you've been on your own, and <clears throat> you had to, and you've been inside secluded. Uh, maybe you haven't been out working towards a goal here. Maybe you have been haven't been working on a job at the moment. Maybe your position at work became redundant, uh, and you're you're now able to gainfully get out there and feel good about moving forward. Um, there could be a hiring freeze right now. This is the beginning of the summer. Uh, maybe, you know, you have to wait a little while longer, but don't give up. There's resources out there, okay? There's help out there, and that means you might be, um, you know, you might be able to move forward and find a, a recruit. A recruit. Also with this Four of Swords, it's indicative that you could be pushing yourself too hard lately and you need to take a break and take your, you know, <clears throat> take your foot off the pedal and catch your breath. Relax, recharge and refocus. Once you've taken some time off to rejuvenate, you're going to be able to face your life's challenges with a fresher perspective. So don't be afraid to do that. <clears throat> coming in with your next card you've got and this has been coming up i have to tell you for a lot of other signs as well honest work it's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous get some experience to help you move up the future up into the future success is a process not a quick fix <clears throat> but some of you might be planning a move whether it's to uh <clears throat> excuse me get a better position at the place you're working at right now you could be working towards that maybe seniority has something to do with it maybe it has to do with proving uh the, to the powers that be what you're made of um <clears throat> some of you could be taking something on the side to add to your resume to help you there uh but you know you you're moving on and you're moving forward the eight of cups says you're planning that you're going in a new direction uh you're you've got your mindset that you you want to leave something behind and go to a better future and that's what you're you're in the process of doing it's the time's come to say goodbye and when you sense something's missing in your life or no longer serves you take action if you're not happy with something whether it's a relationship a job or a lifestyle don't be afraid to walk away from it because doing so may be painful in the short term but in the long run it'll be worth it so you might be at a sort of a dead-end job or a relationship right now where you know it takes time because this is the card of balance when we get the eight of cups it doesn't mean that it's a done deal asap boom you're already already there it means you're taking the pros you're starting the process and you're taking the steps to do this coming in at the end of the week you've got movement you'll make good progress now and you'll be able to overcome any obstacles in your past so big leaps forward are possible so we talked about that here you're moving on and it's going to bring you to this card of success and happiness here you've thought long and hard about it and you've decided now that you are going to move forward and look what comes in with it the six of swords and that is moving forward in a positive direction right that's a card that says leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores you've had a difficult and exhausting time maybe but now you're ready to move on and begin your journey of healing and recovery soon you'll find yourself sailing on smooth waters and headed towards a safe harbor so let go of the past and don't look back better days are ahead so you're moving in a new direction very very good and you will see the rewards come in for this my beautiful aquarius so excellent reading uh quite positive and you know no matter how challenging uh and uh, your week could be or you know in the near future you've got this you're going to handle it you're going to be okay well my beautiful aquarius this is your general reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic healthy happy prosperous and successful week and always know i send you lots of love and 
many blessings. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Aquarius.